Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I talk about motherhood, I talk about pregnancy. I've got an almost two year old. She's like a couple weeks away from being two. And I am 38 weeks pregnant. There's the belly. We do things a little natural. We do Montessori, try and do non-toxic and all of that. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Today, I'm going to share with you the non-toxic or like more eco-conscious swaps that I've made since becoming a parent. I grew up in Minnesota and we just didn't, I didn't learn these things growing up really. Then I went to college in San Diego and I learned about what being green was and like organic stuff. And it was all just kind of a shock. I learned about kombucha. And so I had a big learning curve. Then, obviously, between the time that I graduated college and got pregnant was a few years. When you get pregnant, you are now like, have to look up everything to see if you can have it. So then you start thinking about all the things that you're putting in your body and you're like, okay, is this okay? But that's kind of when I went even more granola and natural. And then when my baby was born, I really wanted to make sure that I was giving her really clean ingredients. One thing that I'm super grateful for is that I get to work with these brands who do eco-conscious things, who care about non-toxic things. And they're like, hey, we are a period underwear, which makes less tampons and pads in the world. World. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Or we're a reusable diaper company or we're a carbon neutral company or we're a B Corp and like Corp? B Corp. I love that these companies are finding me and being like, hey, you like these things. We think your audience will like these things. Do you want to try them? Yes. So I want to start by saying, I'm going to give you a ton of products. This is going to be a very product heavy video. Do you need all of these products? Absolutely not. And to be honest, when you start going eco-friendly and you start going like non-toxic, it gets really expensive. Like you're like, how do people afford a non-toxic rug? You can't, so you just have to pick and choose which ones are important to you. And a lot of times when you start going down this path, you have to choose between, is it good for me or is it good for the earth? Typically companies aren't both. So like you might get a non-toxic skincare line that comes in a plastic bottle and you're like, why are we doing it like this? I don't know. Some people are like, I really care about my health or I really care about the eco. Ideally you're finding both. A lot of these companies also are companies that I am personally an ambassador for or an affiliate for. I say that I used 90% of these before I became an ambassador or an affiliate. I used them, I love them, I reached out to them and I was like, I wanna share this with my audience. You're here for the actual information, so let's get to that. I do not do this perfectly. I do not claim to do this perfectly. In my mind, I would rather have a million people doing it imperfectly than a handful of people doing it exactly right. I think there's more impact with just trying or making one swap. So let's start with pregnancy. The first thing that happens when you get pregnant is you're told to get out of prenatal. Awesome. But supplements are like not all created the same. They're all over the board. I take a lot of different ones, but the two that I want to talk about are my prenatals and my probiotics. Da, 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 da. These are the two that I take. So one is Garden of Life prenatal once daily. And what I like about this is it's a whole food multivitamin. So it's made from actual food. Then I have the prenatal and I have worked with these guys mm, since my pregnancy with Aaliyah. Taking their prenatals and then their postnatals and then they also have things for toddlers. So like this, I just put in her water or I'll put on her PB&J or any cold food. Currently my code is HeyShayla for 15% off. If the code doesn't work, use the link in the description and that should get you the discount. The next thing that you think about is getting enough water. During pregnancy and postpartum if you're breastfeeding or even if you're not breastfeeding. Liquid IV is what I used before I was pregnant. My midwife did not recommend it for pregnancy because of the sugar. I have a discount code with them, HeyShayla25 if you want liquid IV. It just came out with the cotton candy flavor. What my midwife recommended instead is called Noon. And basically she recommended it because there is less sugar. So this is like a strawberry lemonade and a lemon lime. So this is what I use now. Additionally with water, you want to make sure that it's filtered. It's called Clearly Filtered. Can you see it? I fill this thing up like three times a day. That company, I got to talk to one of the founders and he actually answered like, I think I did a poll on Instagram with questions that you had about clearly filtered picture. He answered all of them in a blog post. So if you're like trying to figure it out, they also have like, if you just Google clearly filtered versus Brita, they'll tell you the differences. On their website, they have a thing where you can enter in your zip code and it will tell you like the bad things that are in your water and if this thing will filter it out. I use it all the time. I have a hard time using water out side of my house. No, because of it. Kind of psycho. They have an under the sink option that you can do. So the link for that is in the description as well, but hey, Shayla also gives you a discount. Since we're just doing things in the kitchen, I thought I would grab the other things. I got this Pampered Chef pan, and this is an unglazed stone, and it's literally stone, so 
this caraway, a pan that I asked for the following Christmas. I'm now getting the caraway set. There's certain things like you can't cook it on a high heat. When you do non-toxic, you have to do things a little bit differently. Like you can't throw this in the dishwasher. You have to scrub it off. You're not supposed to use soap. There's just different stuff that goes along with it. But for me, it's worth it because it's healthier. This stuff is incredible. You put cookies on here, you don't spray anything, you don't do anything, and they'll just like slide off the pan. My sister's like, you didn't spray that? I'm like, no, it's amazing. I've got these two. This one's ginormous, but I've got the two sheet pans. And then I have the cookware set coming, so I'll keep you posted on how that goes. Since we're in the kitchen, let's just keep going. Have you ever used your dishwasher and smelt like the chemicals coming out of it? I don't know, I cannot stand that. So Drops recently messaged me and they're like, hey, you do non-toxic, eco-friendly stuff. Do you wanna work with us? And I was like, yes. They sent me both dishwashing soap and laundry soap. And if it wasn't labeled, I don't know that I would know the difference because the laundry soap comes in these little packets too. Then you don't have that giant plastic thing that you need to throw away. So to have something more concentrated like this, the powder, you see that? Those are great. I really like them. I get the, whatever the smell is, like lemon. And then the laundry soap, I get nothing because I do her diapers. It's so great when I, I throw all the clothes in and then I just grab one of those tabs and toss it in. I don't have to like measure out or pour things or whatever. It's just, I just throw it in and it's done. I feel like that's like the infomercial of like the black and white where someone's like, oh, I have to pour this into the thing and I do like, Really not that big of a deal. But also you're like, mm, this is simple. It says powerful cleaning from nature. So they're all non-toxic. Yeah, pretty great company. I'm excited to be working with them. I, do I have a discount code with them? Let's go see. I do, okay, exciting. So with Drops, if it's your first time ordering, you get 25% off with Hey Shayla 25. And then every time after that, just Hey Shayla, we'll get you 15% off forever and ever and ever. I've just set these things up on subscription so that they just show up so that I don't ever run out. <laughs> Let's do makeup. So I am not a makeup person, which is why I kind of wanted to do this because I don't know, I just don't really wear makeup. I don't do a lot of makeup. So I got this tinted moisturizer because I get melasma during pregnancy, which honestly doesn't bother me that much, but it just makes your skin kind of patchy. So this is a SPF, it's all natural. It is a tinted moisturizer, but you don't choose the tint. Not everybody has the same color skin obviously. So I don't really know. I mean, it works for me and they say that it should just work for anyone, but that doesn't make sense to me, but I love it. So there's that. And then I have Merit, which looks like this. And they sent me highlighting balm and blush and all these things. I use their complexion stick under my eyes and if I have a blemish somewhere. Wasn't a huge fan of their mascara because it was waterproof, so it didn't come off very easily. I'm still looking for a non-toxic affordable mascara. I'm gonna try Dime Beauty, their mascara and their like lash booster. I'll keep you posted on that, but that's also non-toxic. Oh, and then milk. I really love this for my eyebrows, just to fill them in because I'm not gonna draw them on. I don't know how to do that. I call it eyebrow mascara, because that's what it is. I have haze, that's my color. I always use a, this. It's non-toxic, this is non-toxic. These are not, so that's why I'm looking for a mascara. These are great. My sister taught me to use two different kinds, so one of these looks like this with that, and then the other one, plumper or something. But using the two gives you more fuller lashes. I don't do fake lashes. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but then I put on. The reason why I was like trying to find a good makeup was because when your baby's little, they like put their mouth on your face all the time. And you're like, well, I don't want you to be having all these things. Plus stuff is not safe when you're breastfeeding. So more important to me than makeup is skincare. I think that if your skin is bad and you're just covering it up with makeup, that that's not ideal. You should try and like really get to the heart of the skin. So I found a very simple skin routine. I actually like like the three or four step process when I had time to do it. I no longer do. And now I have a two step process that I still don't always have time to do. It is a cleanser and then a night and day serum. Very simple. I just went and got a facial the other day and the esthetician was like, whatever you're doing is working. Like your skin looks really good. She gave me a derma facial. So she like shaved off my face. It was very weird, but I loved it. <laughs> Anyway, so what I use is called Joyome. It's by Plexus. So this is the wash. I usually just do this in the shower because I don't, I don't know, have time to do it. I don't make time to do it. And then they have a morning and a night 
serum lotion but the lotion's got like prebiotics or probiotics or something and so that's supposed to help your skin when i was at the facial i was like i have melasma so i've got the tinted skin stuff but it's the wrinkles that i really want to work on because pre-baby i have gotten botox a couple of times because i've got this gnarly wrinkle right there not non-toxic at all you can't do it while you're pregnant or while you're breastfeeding so i've basically been doing both of those things for i don't know three years um so i'm like i would like to work on my wrinkles so she recommended this serum and she's like, there's two different kinds. One's gonna help with the pigmentation of your skin and the other one's gonna help with wrinkles. And I was like, pigmentation is just from pregnancy. That will go. So she recommended, it's called Grown Alchemist. I love this stuff. Like it just feels like it tightens up my face. It feels so good. A friend of mine was like, you can buy that for like six bucks at Ulta. And I was about to do it. But the esthetician was like, the difference is, is those have super big molecules that your skin can absorb. This was a hundred dollars. I was like, all right, let's just give it a go. And I am actually, I love, I'll buy it again. I, I don't, I don't even work with this company. And I think it's great and it's pregnancy safe. It just makes my skin feel so good. Deodorant is another big one. So I've tried every deodorant because you don't want the aluminum your armpit next to your lymph nodes next to your breastfeeding like I don't know I just really wanted to find a natural deodorant and I kind of a friend of mine was like just know that you're gonna invest in this because a natural deodorant is not cheap B what works for someone doesn't work for someone else you kind of have to try a bunch of them a lot of it didn't work the only thing that I found that worked was native specifically cucumber mint. Like so even some of the native scents don't work on me. Um, nothing will work postpartum. So just so you're aware of that, when you start breastfeeding or just postpartum, you have like night sweats, you smell so bad. You've got BO just like, it's gnarly. And the BO is supposed to help the baby find your boob. So it's like for a purpose, but and you're like, I just wanna use my husband's like super toxic, non sweat deodorant. Don't do that. <laughs> Go with the smell for a while. But like I said, native is what I use and what has worked for me, but you probably are gonna have to just try a few different kinds. So as I'm preparing for baby, I obviously have clothes for them and I have blankets and I've got a bassinet and diapers and whatever. We're actually gonna start cloth from the beginning this time, we're gonna try. But what's most important in the first couple of weeks when baby gets here is taking care of mom. I didn't know that the first time. Nobody told me that. So this is why I'm telling you this. Earth Mama is what I use for the nipple butter. I had a nurse in the hospital look me into my soul and was like, if you really want to breastfeed, do not quit for the first two weeks. And I was like, okay, because you get chapped. Sometimes they bleed, it's bad. So I've tried like four different kinds of nipple balm. Earth Mama nipple butter is literally my favorite. I am affiliate with them, but like they're incredible. They have a big one and they have a small one. Get the two small ones so you can have one in your breastfeeding station and one in like your diaper bag or wherever else you need it. You might have to refill it, that's fine. After you're done needing this, it can be chapstick or it can be hand balm or it can be it's just a moisturizer and there's no need to wash it off before nursing. And then they also have a belly butter that I used in my last pregnancy and I just kind of forgot about it this pregnancy, but that's that. What else do I want to talk to you about for mom? My mattress. Mattresses have a lot of toxic things in them. When you're laying on it and you're breathing on it for like eight, nine hours, like right here, I just didn't love that. So I was on a mission to find a good mattress. I started with the avocado mattress. Didn't like it. It was really hard for us. I don't know. I didn't love it. So I ended up getting and loving the Plush Bed Botanical Bliss. I love it, A, because it's made of latex, which is, if you're allergic, look it up, but um, it's non-toxic because then you're co-sleeping potentially and your baby's in the bed too and you're just like, oh, I feel so much better knowing that I have this non-toxic mattress. Not only is it non-toxic, this mattress is adjustable. There's, they've got a firm, medium, and soft and depending on the order of how you have it makes the firmness. So if you do it and you are on it for like a month and you're like, this is too hard, you can rearrange it and make it softer. To me, that's such a huge deal. Like that's just, it's a pain in the butt. Less of a pain in the butt than having to return and order and find a new mattress. Like it's so great. So on their website, they almost always have some sort of sale going on. Maybe you get new sheets, maybe you get a discount, maybe you get whatever. The link is in the description. I just, I love this thing. Now let's get into the baby products. Car seats. Car seats have a flame retardant on the seats, which is good, but it also isn't great for us. I have an entire blog post on this that goes over the different brands in the United States that have the non-toxic car seats. So when I made this blog, that door is open, that drives me nuts. When I made this blog, 
I had someone comment and be like, I just saw you on Instagram and you're using not one of these car seats. This is really inauthentic or whatever. And I'm like, I hear what you're saying. However, I didn't know about this when I asked for that car seat for her baby registry. So yeah, I have a toxic car seat for infants. And then when we got her into a convertible seat, I bought a Kleck Foomph. We might buy the Nuna Rava for the second baby, but I'm going to use the infant car seat again because things are expensive. They're super expensive. And we have this one. And am I super stoked about it? No, we're gonna use it. So the toys, we have Love Every. I cannot recommend Love Every enough. First of all, it's a Montessori thing. So it's all natural materials and there's not toxic paint on there. So when she's chewing on these things, I'm like, oh, I actually feel okay about it because I know that it's safe. But also it's a subscription. And so it comes every single month based on how old your child is. Starting day one, it's literally created for the age of whatever your child is. So I think the first year it comes every two months, the second year it comes every three months she's loved everything that's inside of it and it's designed to help with their development so it has things that most of the time when we get the box she can't do and then a month later she's like clicking it all together and I'm just like this is amazing it's just so cool to see her develop developmentally to grow developmentally to get these skills developmentally I don't know I've been a huge huge fan of them. I love everything about it. Definitely ask for it on your baby registry. You can buy like a full year in advance and then I think you get even more of a discount. Yes. Yep. 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 And then lastly, lotions and soaps and stuff for baby. So many people said Tubby Todd all over ointment. Let me grab it. Tubby Todd. I did not know about Tubby Todd when my baby was born. She had like some dry skin and I was like, what do we do for dry skin? Get the big one. You'll want it. It's amazing. Tubby Todd all over ointment. It's great. Then we also have like the detangler. They have toothpaste. We have sunscreen I forgot to grab. Soap and body wash. We have a bubble bath. Oh, they have hand sanitizers. They have like a chest rub like Vicks. And when you start switching to this stuff, use what you already have. Use it up until it's gone and then replace it. Don't waste the money, don't waste the product, don't wait, just, just use it. But Tubby Todd has been really cool. If you click on the link in the description, you'll get 10% off automatically. Like I said, ton of products. You do not need to buy all these things. Whatever is your priority, I just wanted to give you some of the products that I use. And like I said, most of these are affiliates and most of these are ambassador programs. What that also means is that if you do buy any of these things and you click on the link, I will get a referral. So thank you. I really appreciate it. But also I genuinely like all of this, which is why these are the things that I chose to share. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any other options that you love and you want to share, please do that. I would love to get different recommendations and I like trying different stuff, but it's also important to me to like stick with one. I don't have time to research these things all the time, so I do it once and I call it good. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.